Hello, I'm Marco Baldino. And I'm Andrew Mercegassi. And we will be covering soccer for the final time. So let's start off with the conference league final, Olympiacos versus Fiorentina. And Olympiacos, congrats to the Olympiacos for winning this yeah, game. Yeah, congrats to them. But that game, though, it really dragged. It was kind of an ugly game, but I'm a, obviously it's going to be different from like Champions League games. But it was a little bit ugly. But Fiorentina had so many chances to score. Just like last time they were in the final year. And they Irony. lost to West Ham and they lose again, the Olympiacos. Yeah, even if this game took the full 90 minutes and it went to overtime yeah. or extra time i should say yeah still congrats to them they would uh olympiados would score in the 116th minute yeah to win. extra time to win that would be the only goal in the game so yeah yeah i'm surprised it was scoreless after 90 minutes as yeah, I was ready to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't. All right, so now we go to the Europa League final, Atalanta versus Bayern Leverkusen, and no one would have predicted this outcome of this game. 3-0 Atalanta. Yes, you heard me. 3-0 to Atalanta, giving Bayern Leverkusen their first loss out of the entire season. That's really surprising because yeah. Bayern would, again, you said they would not lose, and this is their first loss too, so I felt like it was kind of a little bit embarrassing that they would lose the championship game. Yeah, and they'll get shut out in this game. And it's by the yeah. same guy too. Oh yeah, um, what is his name again? I think it was like Luxman, something like that. Luxman, yeah. Luxman. Would score all three goals, having an outstanding performance. This guy is definitely going somewhere. Yeah, he's definitely club. going somewhere. I expect yeah. at the end of the game, they this, would just carry him. This is like, this game changes like his whole career, I feel like. It really did. It really showed that he's a very yeah. good player. I would not say, I would say MVP of the team, but, I, but that's probably a different yeah. topic altogether. But he proves why he's good, why he's on the team. And he gave this team championship win. So yeah. congrats to Lookman. Oh yeah, I could say that. And I, that was basically like that game, like Antalanta, like dominated. Yeah, they really dominated. Seriously. Too. And you could tell that the coaches and everyone yeah. else on the other side, they were celebrating. Yeah. A lot coming from it because they were not expecting it as well. No one predicted this outcome. Yeah, no one didn't predict this outcome. And now we finally go to the Champions League final: Dortmund versus Real Madrid. Yep. And you predicted correctly. Yep, Real I did predict this because this was the most obvious. Real Madrid wins 2-0 in the Champions League final. Yeah, but like, look, Dorman, you guys had this game. Like, you guys had several chances to score, especially in the first half. Should have been like 2-0, something like that. And oh my God, I'm just... I'm surprised you guys didn't score once. Dorman may have game. been a wall, but Real Madrid was the wrecking ball. Yeah. So yeah. Real Madrid wins another Champions League title. Yeah, and both goals were like kind of off of like defensive mistake too. But that's what Real Madrid are good at, like capitalizing on their like other teams' mistakes. Yeah, they have. Them. They utilize that to their advantage, and of course, they would end up winning. Yeah, it's disappointing to see Dortman lose a game like poor Marco Royce. Yeah. They'll probably never get it, and like. This is really Dortmund's like like only chance, and I feel like they won't make it to uh, like this far in the Champions League for like many many years. Yeah, it's kind of sad like that. Yeah. So we'll see if they can recover from this big blow. Maybe there's a chance for Dortmund, but we will have to see in the near future. But speaking of Real Madrid, and before we end our show, we uh, saw and we talked about Mbappe being signed to Real Madrid. It is officially confirmed. He has finally been signed now. Oh yeah, finally. You can finally hear Fabrizio Romano say, here we go for Mbappe. And yeah, I mean, I don't know how you're going to stop this Real Madrid attack. Yep, they're, they're not going to stop. And just as we saw for the Champions League, they're going to yeah. really dominate now that they have Mbappe now. Yeah, very. I mean, I'm very curious to see like how this is going to end up in like, all competitions for Real Madrid. Yeah, because as we could tell through this Champions League, Mbappe was doing a little bit well, and then, of course, PSG got eliminated. But yeah. now he's going to Real I mean, Madrid. I mean, he even said like he, he wasn't a happy man at PSG. That's also yeah. true. <laughs> but we'll see how he goes. I see a bright future for Mbappe to see where uh, Real Madrid takes him. So we yeah. go with that. So uh, thank you everyone for tuning in for this episode and we see you guys in the next one.